Hello, in this video I'll be explaining how we can determine the Young modulus of a wire using this experimental equipment. You'll see here we have a mass hanger attached to a copper wire that's hanging over a pulley and that copper wire has been stretched across the desk and wedged between a couple of wooden blocks and a clamp at the end to keep it steady. Alongside the wire I've placed a meter ruler and part way along the wire I have attached a paper triangle, the object, purpose of which is to uh, allow us to see when the wire is stretching and to measure how much the wire is stretched by. In order to determine the Young modulus we're going to plot a graph of stress against strain and to measure stress and strain you need force, cross-sectional area, original length and extension. So let's begin with force, that will be measured by multiplying the mass on the hanger by 9.81. Cross-sectional area will determine using a micrometer. This is a micrometer, it's used to measure very, very small distances, thicknesses of objects, and it's precise to the nearest one hundredth of a millimetre. It's very important when you're writing about this experiment that you measure the thickness of the wire in multiple places and determine the average. So we take the micrometer and we open its jaw to fit the wire between and then we turn until it clicks. And then we can measure off the scale. The reading on the micrometer here, it is 0 0.37 millimetres. So we then repeat this measurement further down the wire. And this time again it is 0 0.37 millimetres. We continue taking measurements, two or three of those, and find the, the mean, and from the diameter we can then calculate the cross-sectional area. To calculate the strain, we need the original length of the wire. In this case we are interested in the length between the wooden blocks and the marker, which in this case is 90 centimetres, so 0 0.9 metres. We need to be careful to avoid parallax errors when we're reading off our scale here. So it's important that we get our head uh, perfectly in line with the marker and the ruler. So you can see here our marker is pointing at 90. The first thing we do is attach mass to the end of the wire, therefore increasing the force on the wire. And we measure any extension. You can see there that the paper has moved perhaps almost a millimetre along the wire, so we record that extension. But also it's very important to note that the wire will have uh, got slightly thinner as it's stretched, so we also need to measure the diameter again and take the average again. So again using our micrometer, record the diameter and then calculate the average of a few of those measurements and use that to determine the cross-sectional area. So the outcome of this experiment will be that for every mass you attach to the end of the wire, you'll record the force by multiplying the mass by 9.81, the length using the meter ruler between the block and the marker, the extension measured against the meter ruler using the marker, the diameter in a few places to find the average, and then use that to work out the cross-sectional area, and then using those values we can calculate the stress by dividing force by area and the strain by dividing the extension by the original length. We would then plot a graph of stress against strain, the gradient of which will be the Young modulus. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.